Hello, my beautiful chariots. Welcome to another pick a card reading. And the one that I have for you today is what is your person's intentions when it comes to this connection? All right, we're going to take a look at that today. Um, I do have three piles here, but first off, I just want to say hello. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my beautiful subscribers that are always here. Uh, it's always so nice to see you and to see you remain uh, returning and showing your continued support. I always appreciate that. And then for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Um, also, you can turn on that notification button so that you know when I'm uploading the latest content. All right, so if we look at the three piles that I have today, uh, we have pile one here. This is the Crow Tarot with my beautiful Angel Rose Quartz. All right, so that's going to be your reading today. And then pile two, you are the Uncommon Tarot with my um, White Opal Elephant. Okay, so that will be your reading. And pile three, you have uh, the runic tarot with my tiger eye owl all right so those are the three piles that i have for you today my chariots do what you need to do to pick your pile if you're drawn to more than one that's perfectly fine that means there's messages in the other piles that you may need to hear and if none of them are resonating with you that's perfectly fine as well this just isn't your reading for you today. You can kindly back out. You can check out the other videos that I've uploaded or those other beautiful, amazing tarot or readers that are out there. All right, so do your thing and I will see you at your pile. All right, hello, pile one. You chose the beautiful crow tarot deck and my beautiful rose quartz angel, which I keep at my bed side every night so i'm going to put uh, her over here and today we're looking at what your person's intentions are regarding this relationship this connection okay so um first off i just want to apologize if you hear me sniffling or i'm, I'm coming down with something so i'm not feeling my best uh, so i apologize if you hear anything in the background I might need to drink more water throughout the reading than usual but today we are looking at your person and what their intentions are in regards to you and this connection all right so this is for pile one I am using the beautiful crow tarot here and before we get started if we can let's just take a moment to clear ourselves and and be still for a second so pile one if you can just do me a favor i want you to take in a deep breath right now and i just want you to quiet your mind and i want you to think about your person so we can pull in their energy so while we do that i want you to connect to the third eye chakra okay so while you're doing that I just I want you to think that I want you to say in your mind that you're connecting to your inner higher power and that you trust your intuition always when it comes to this situation and any situation that you are involved in okay so let's take a look this is for pile one spirit what is pile one's person's intentions when it comes to this connection
And we have here the Nine of Pentacles. I love the artwork in these cards. The uh, Ten of Wands. And then we have the Justice card. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Hanged Man. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. And I'm going to pull one card from my Under the Roses Lenormand deck. Oh, that's way too much spirit. Now don't be playful today. Let's see again. All right. So pile one, what I feel, you know, in regards to your person's intentions, what their intentions are currently when it comes to this connection, um, I feel that there is a sense of freedom and independence here that they are trying to break free from. When I look at the past energies here, we have the Ten of Wands, and I feel that there's some sort of burden that your person carries with them because the overall message that I'm seeing here is the Queen of Wands. And who is the Queen of Wands? She is someone that takes action, all right? She is authentic. She's very intuitive. She's very positive. But she is all about taking action because she knows what to do and she knows what she's standing up for. And there's a past energy here that's showing me the burden, the, you know, the weight of the world on your person's shoulder that they carry with them, because I feel that they did not take a certain action in regards to whatever your situation was or the scenario that occurred in the past in regards to the both of you, okay? And because of that, I feel that there's a lot of guilt here i feel that they feel that justice has been served to them all right i feel that they've also feel that they've been judged for the way they handled this situation and with this butterfly here i feel that it's given them a lot to think about a lot you know a lot of self you know, this nine here, when we're talking about nines, like I feel they, they've reflected on themselves a lot in regards to this situation. And now they are trying to just forgive themselves and sort of cut themselves some slack in regards to what they did or did not do. Because I feel with this overall energy here of the Queen of Wands, they didn't take action in a situation that they should have. All right, and we have the Ace of Cups that's underneath here, okay? So it's showing me when it comes to, I feel, either having to defend their emotions and their feelings that they had for you, they did not do that. And because of that, it ended in this uh, burden or they've been carrying this burden with them. See, this bird is carrying this load here of wands. So I feel like they've been carrying this with them for a while. And now that we're in this present energy, um, 
you know, they're really trying to reflect. They're realizing what they've done wrong. We have this wolf here. So I feel like they've taken some time, you know, as a wolf. They've, they've been a loner, you know. They're really trying to get themselves back in a confident... Uh, they they're trying to get themselves back into a um a place where they feel you know when you look at this nine of pentacles this is someone that's stable and secure and enjoying the fruits of their labor all right and i feel like they haven't felt like that in a while when it comes to the two of you um they've been holding on to something you know that in their head when they're thinking we have the four of pentacles here and this is showing me that they they think about they, there's something that they're holding within them and they have not let this go um this could be a situation where the two of you are not in communication right now so you really don't know what's going on with them and th i feel like they've been carrying this with them for a while and they're trying to get to that point now where they are healing and where they are looking at things from a higher perspective because we do have the hanged man here and this show me can show me that they're still watching you very heavily um, that they're keeping an eye on you, but I feel like they've really tried to learn from this mistake that they've made. All right, and with this justice card here in the future energy, this is showing me that they are really trying to put themselves back into uh, a place where they are in balance, okay? Because with this, the scales that are here, uh, whatever your scenario was that happened that uh, led to possibly a situation that broke down here between the both of you, um, it, it caused them to be out of balance, all right? So I feel like they haven't felt like they were or are in balance in a long time. And with this Nine of Pentacles here and the way that the sun is shining, I feel that they're finally trying to get back to that point. Um, I see the lotus flowers that are still here. I still feel that they think you are beautiful and that, you know, they are still loyal to you. We have this dog here, okay? And this is all about loyalty and friendship. And, and even when I look at this dog's face, you know, this is uh, the feelings I get is this is someone that wants to come forward and reconcile with you. So I, I feel that they want to take this action now of moving forward and stepping out and reconciling with you. Um, but it's something that they obviously have not talked to you about because this number 18 here represents the moon. So I still feel that this is something that they all keep to themselves and that they are hidden or hiding. You know, they're hiding this energy from you at this point. But down here in the corner of this card, we also see the Ten of Cups. And, and that's showing us the happiness that they want to get back to. All right, this fresh start, this new beginning with this Ace of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. They want that very much. All right, and they are working on putting themselves in the position that they can actually uh, take action with this Queen of Wands that's here. I don't feel that they're quite there yet, but this is the energy that I'm feeling that they're working on. So they're working on stepping into this power, all right? Stepping into this power and moving towards you to reconcile a situation that I feel they did not handle um, properly uh, in the past, okay? So let's just get some messages here from the Hidden Truth Oracle. So what messages, Spirit, does Pile 1 have? I feel you even though we're apart. So yeah, I do feel that there's some sort of distance between the two of you right now. 
I don't react when people mention you. So again, I feel with this uh, number here, 18, the moon, I feel that there's something that's hidden about the situation and what happened. I know I messed up everything. And yes, they've been carrying this guilt, okay? On the bottom of the deck, I will wait for a sign from you, but yet I feel this is what they need to uh, work on and overcome, okay? They have to step into this power, okay? And be able to uh, get over their fears, okay? And be vulnerable enough to step up and realize what they did here that was inappropriate and be able to come forward and reconcile uh, the situation. So even though they're waiting for a sign from you, their journey, their lesson right now is to step in this power so that they can come forward to you. They got to put that ego aside. All right. And then let me get a card here from the power of love. So this is for you pile one what do you need to do while this person while their intentions are to move towards you while they work on stepping into this power acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So pile two, you know, I feel like this is some of that hanged man energy that you need to let go and surrender. All right, because we also have the four pentacles here showing me, you know, that's holding on, that's not letting go or holding something in. It's all about control. I feel that you need to accept this situation for where it's at and let this person go and surrender until they are ready to work themselves, you know, work their way back to you, okay? And then let me get one card for you from Angel Whispers. Wow, stop worrying, your desires are manifesting. So spirit wants you to stop worrying. Your guidance is to stop worrying and I feel that your guidance is to surrender and let go right now, accept what is and what will come to you um, will be if it's meant to be. Um, but <clears throat> I don't think you need to worry about this situation. It's playing out exactly as it should at this moment in time. Okay, so that is your reading for today. Uh, I hope it resonated, Pile One, and I will see you again soon. Hello, Pile Two. You chose the Uncommon Tarot with my beautiful white opal elephant. Isn't he cute? So this is going to be your reading today. We're asking spirit about what your person's intentions are uh, when they come to this, uh, when it comes to this connection, um, the relationship that you're in with this person. So before we get started, Pile Two, let's just take a minute to quiet our minds. So if you can do me a favor, I'd like you to take in a deep breath. And just quiet your mind for a second. I want you to be still. And I want you to think about your person, okay? I want you to call in their energy. So to do that, I want you to connect to your third eye chakra. So while you're thinking about your person, I want you to say in your mind that you are connected to your higher inner power. And that you trust your intuition always, okay? And we'll see what kind of energy we get today. And the information that Harrow gives us. So this is for 
pile two. Pile two spirit. What is pile two's person, person's intentions when it comes to this connection with pile two? What are their intentions moving forward? What can you tell us at this time? Just give me one second here. person's intentions. Right. Okay. We have the seven of coins. We have the chariot number seven. And we have the four of coins. We have the five of wands. And the queen of wands. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the wander, which is the fool, with the three of cups. And I'm going to take one of these cards as well from my Under the Roses Lenormand deck. I apologize if I'm sniffling, but I'm not feeling too well today, so. Okay. All right, just give me a second. So what I'm feeling pile two, what I'm feeling I'm Overall, I'm feeling that your person is struggling with this uh, There's this uh, how do I say this there's this overall stubborn energy that I feel that is coming from your person uh, you know, I feel that they are at a point in life, pile two, where obviously we have this crossroads card here. You know, they're at a crossroads. Uh, and you could see that by the seven of coins that is the present energy in this reading. All right. It, they're taking a step back. They're looking at their life. And, and I'm really just getting this feeling that they're not happy. They are not happy with where they are in life, okay? And because of that, this card brings feelings of frustration, impatience, you know, and they're at this crossroads where they feel like they know that they need to do something. See, they know that there's this feeling that they need to change something. We have the Queen of Wands here, which is about taking action, all right? And, the, and she does. I mean, the whole point of the Queen of Wands is she goes after what she wants, but she's very positive and optimistic about it, okay? And she's very intuitive, so she's very graceful 
and sensual the way she goes about doing this. And I feel that this is a struggle for your person. I'm almost getting this feeling like your person is bitter right now. They're in, the, they're in this energy of they're bitter about where they are in life. And there's almost this energy of feeling, mm, I don't know if it's an immature energy, but they we have the chariot here okay i feel like this is definitely is a spiritual lesson your your person is on this path to learning this spiritual lesson because we have the chariot here and that is a very spiritual card in the tarot deck but this is about moving forward and making that choice to move forward and having success and victory okay like you're not you're not indecisive anymore you're actually you're making a decision of how you want to move forward and you know what you're going to do and yet your person is still stuck here in this crossroads so it's very conflicting and we have the five of wands here so in, and this is a, this card is reflecting their thoughts all right so there's a lot of internal conflict that's going on i feel like there's a battle in their head it's almost like they're having an argument in their head with themselves because I feel that they want to reconcile with you. Their intention is to reconcile with you, pile two. That's the, the overall feeling that I'm getting because we have the wander here. We have the full card and that's about the start of a new journey. It's about taking that risk, taking that leap of faith with the three of cups here, which is showing me this celebration. They want this, you know, this is about joy and friendship and, and love and it also can represent a, a reconciliation or a restart, a reunion here. So I feel that this is what they want. And yet there's a part of them. I mean, underneath this card, we even have the five of coins, which is the five of pentacles, where, how do I say this? Like they're feeling like bitter that... They are where they are right now. And even though they want to reconcile with you, there's almost this, this hesitancy to take action. This, this four of coins is here, this holding on, this like control, like they're still trying to control this situation. It's a very stubborn energy that I'm feeling, right? And it's not um, a positive feeling. So I feel because of that, they're stuck at this crossroads. Uh, this is number 22. And in tarot, that reduces to four. And this is showing me the shadow side of the emperor right now. All right. The emperor is all about power and authority and control. But, you know, the emperor, this is the divine masculine we're talking about. But when they're in their shadow side, when they're not in an alignment and they're not in their lighter side, they're they're trying to control this situation and even though they want to reconcile with you right now it's like they're holding this energy of like holding out if that makes sense okay so for this pile like i don't know if that resonates with you but it's this stubborn energy instead of moving forward and releasing this control your pile, your person, you know, pile two, your person is, is fighting to me this chariot energy of understanding what the spiritual lesson is all about. Because truly, I believe their spiritual lesson is, you know, coming to terms with releasing a lot of negativity that they've carried with them along the way and that's why this wanderer is here this uh fool because it's time for them to start a new journey and not just start something new with you but in general in their life i just feel i feel that your your person has carried this energy of the victim or the martyr okay that nothing ever works out for them or they always have a hard time and it's because of that low vibrating energy right like attracts like right so i feel that they've attracted what because of the energy they have put themselves in along the way and the reason that things have happened in the past even whatever it is that's gone on in your relationship or your connection I feel that this is someone who blames everybody else around them but themselves there's a very uh you know there's they're 
their lesson, their spiritual lesson here is to become more self-aware of that they are the ones that are in charge of their life, that they are the magicians of their life, okay? And they have the tools that they need in order to change things and create a happier life for them going forward. And I feel that they still struggle with that internally. So because of that, they're in this energy of I hate to say this, they want to reconcile with you, but they're not. They're being very stubborn right now. And quite frankly, I'm not feeling that well. So I'm almost annoyed with this energy because <clears throat> they know that they have to make this choice. And either way, they're going to learn this lesson. So that's something that you need to know. And I'm sorry that you're a part of this journey. But even if they choose not to reconcile and hold out with you at this point, they're still going to learn the hard way because spirit is here, right? With the chariot, spirit is here and spirit is watching over this. Um, so they could either choose that higher path, you know, like the chariot and move forward and realize that they, okay, they are here in this present energy where they are and now they know what changes that they need to do in order to move forward and they have to release some of this control and they have to release some of this pride that they're holding on to to in order to reach out to you okay and they have to stop feeling like they are losing out on everything and 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 i mean it, it kind, of, kind of keeps going like there's even the four of cups here see that they're just not they're so disgusted with everything you know they feel like uh they, they feel they just feel like they've been burned in in every situation and and we're ending here with the temperance temperance card the alchemist that it's called here i'm going to stop here because uh, there's even the seven of cups so what i'm saying is this is going to take time and patience um and my you know so what are their intentions their intentions are to be stubborn right now i'm sorry to say so i i don't see if, if you're dealing with someone that's very stubborn and um being thick-headed i don't see that changing right now okay uh let me get some messages from them but i feel for you you need to just you know pick up your life and you need to remain positive and you know if and when this person reaches clarity on this journey that they're on and with the temperance card that shows me that this is going to take a while all right you're going to need a lot of patience if, if you're going to be able to um in order to deal with this person you know there's there's a lot of patience that's going to have to come from you and, and my suggestion is for you to just move on and live your life until this person snaps out of it because I do feel you, you know again like attracts like and I feel that the more you're around this person the more that they're just going to bring you down they're very negative they, they're you know they're very negative and what I don't like you know it's one thing to be negative because of how things happened that we all we all reach, you know, nobody is in a positive, a, in a positive alignment or positive energy 100% of the time. You know, we're here in human bodies having an, a human experience. We're all going to have bad days. We're all going to have good days. You know, there's that ebb and flow. But when someone just doesn't take into account themselves and they're not self-aware and they blame everything on everyone around them, you know, that's an energy that can bring you down, pile two. So my advice to you is you need to worry about yourself and stay in your positive energy and not to let this person bring you down, okay? They have to they have to journey through this themselves. And then I down here is the Queen of Diamonds, which is the Queen of Pentacles. And with that Queen of Pentacle energy, I almost feel, you know, because the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pent like that's earth energy that's coming out here showing me that they're just going along with their everyday routine not bothering to change anything. So it's kind of just right now this woe is me attitude and I don't really see them changing anything and unfortunately you know this question is what are their intentions when it comes to you in this connection and the overall energy that i'm getting from this reading is 
they're just worried about themselves right now and they they can't be bothered you know with that four of cups energy i saw they can't be bothered about worrying about how others feel because they just feel that they have gotten like the raw you know like the raw end of the stick or they just you know everything you know it, it, that happens to them is is the worst thing and as if other people you know don't have problems or feel low at times you know they're just pushing it off on everyone else so what are their hidden messages for you at this time <laughs> i love you unconditionally well you you know that's a shock because and and, and not to be funny but i mean none of the cards that are coming through here I mean, the Queen of Wands is here for feeling, so I could say to you that yes, there's been passion here, but I guess my point to you is the cards and the feeling that I'm getting from this reading is just loaded with such negativity that it's hard for me to feel that unconditional love that they have for you. And even though the, you know this could very well be true, the fact is, is that they're not showing it and they're not giving equally to this relationship whatsoever. Oh my goodness, I love you. Well, they have to change their tune. I left before you could leave me. So, I mean, I feel like there's this sense that they love you, possibly for some of you, you know, again, this negativity, like did something happen? between the two of you so they left because again oh i'm not going to be the one to get hurt you know I, it's just um and i regret lying to you so they lied to you about something so i feel that this person just you know is not in the right place right now their energy is is very you know th this is what i'm feeling when i feel like i have to cleanse myself after um <laughs> doing so many readings and absorbing energies like this is like an energy vampire i have to say this is someone that is 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 just sucking the energy from all those around them because they feel so bad themselves but they're not replenishing it they're not giving back to anyone and it's not just you and even though that they might love you or they do care about you know the people around them they're certainly not putting that effort into it so my advice to you um pile two is this is something that i feel you need to distance yourself from until this person straightens themselves out okay so let me grab a message card for you let's just see here from the power of love what is pile two's advice right now in regards to the situation with their person what do they need to do right now spirit willingness you are able to compromise if the end result is love and and you know that's what i'm feeling like i feel like you're giving and putting forth all this effort and you have this willingness like you you for some reason love this person you for some reason love this person unconditionally okay you are willing to work on things and i don't feel that they're returning that in any way and, and again, here on the bottom of this deck is showing me the patience because you are going to have to be extremely patient with this person um, because I don't feel anytime soon that they're going to step up and, and change, change their ways. I feel like there's still going to be quite a few cycles of them wallowing and, and look, you know, wallowing in their pity instead of stepping into this queen of actions and taking power oh let's see i'm grabbing the wrong cards i want to get you a message from your angels before i close this out so what does your angels want you to know right now what's your what is the message from your angels that they want you to hear right now this is for pile two and i'm sorry for all the sniffles but i did want to get this reading out to you Don't be afraid to ask for help from your guides. Your guides love to help you. And you know what, Pile 2? 
don't be afraid to ask them because I feel that the, <laughs> this person's challenging with their stubbornness and, and, and their crankiness. I feel, you know, don't think you're alone. You, the universe spirit, they see how they're acting. They know what's going on. So, you know, this is the, your angels telling you not to be afraid when you're at that point, like you've had enough. That's why I'm telling you, you really need to distance yourself from this person until they work some of this negative energy out of their system. All right. I mean, and you need to concentrate on yourself. Don't get me wrong. Send them lots of light and love. You can meditate, you know, and send them energy to cleanse them. But they also have to do the work themselves. You know, it just can't come from you. All right. So you worry about you and try to back away from this person until they get themselves in a uh, more positive alignment. Because right now, those low vibrations are really pulling them down. All right, so I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope it resonated and I'll talk to you soon. Hello, pile three. All right, you were drawn to this cute little tiger eye owl. Isn't he so cute? Woo -hoo. Um, or the runic tarot. And, you know, we're looking at today what your person's intentions are uh, regarding uh this connection with you, this relationship that they're in with you. So we're going to take a look at that today. All right. So before we get started, pile three, let's just take a moment to clear our energies. So if you can, I want you to take in a deep breath for me. And I just want you to quiet your mind. Clear your thoughts. And I want you to think about your person. Okay, because we want to pull in their energy to this reading. And to do that, I want you to connect with your third eye chakra. So I just want you to take a minute. I want you to think about your person. And I want you to say in your mind that you are connected to your higher inner power. And that you trust your intuition always especially in this situation, in any situation that you're in, okay? All right, so this reading, Spirit is for Pile 3. And we are asking what Pile 3's person, person's intentions are in regards to this connection. What are Pile 3's person's intentions? in regards to this connection, please. In pile three, I'm already apologizing. I'm sorry if you hear sniffles and drinking of water. I'm not feeling that well today, but I wanted to get this reading to you. All right, so just bear with me. Pile three's person spirit. What are their intentions when it comes to this connection? All right. Oh, wow. Starting off strong with the two of horns or the two of cups. My goodness. What do we have here? Sorry, let me just look. Uh, this is the Five of Pentacles. And wow, that is the Ace of Wands. Ooh. Some powerful energies coming through. And here's the Ace of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles, wow. And what do we have on the bottom of the deck? The Nine of Cups, my goodness. With the Four of Pentacles, okay. 
and and this is the runic tarot so if you if you're into runes pile three you could see the runes that are showing up that are pertinent to the reading i am not you know i try to learn them but i don't know them all off the top of my head so if you see any that stand out for you take it how it resonates and then let me just get one card here from under the roses okay such romantic energies coming through for this group out of all three piles beautiful just give me a second here she is okay so what am I seeing here your person right now okay what are their intentions when it comes to you it, what I'm feeling is is that they are trying to work on releasing this need to have to hold everything with inside of them all right um we start out here with this nine of horns which is the nine of cups and that's wish fulfillment and that's how they feel about you all right they know they see you as this wish fulfillment they see you as this dream coming true and they know how emotionally content they would be with you um and i feel that they're working through something right now where you know they've been holding this all in this is the four of pentacles all right and with the four of pentacles the the traditional four of pentacles you see someone you know you see that person holding on to the pentacles really tightly because this is a card about control it's about keeping things close to them so when you see this card it's about keeping things close keeping things within their reach okay um, this is someone that has been afraid to come forward i feel and tell you how they truly feel about you because of whatever the circumstances that may arise in your scenario, all right? And I'm sure there's many different ones out there. The point is, is this person has been holding in their feelings and look at this ship that this Viking is looking at. Um, it, it's how it's engulfed in flames. And, and I feel that, you know, this is how your person feels inside i feel like this feeling that they're caring for you is just burning burning inside because they haven't voiced their opinion they have not come forward and just you know it's it's just all about being honest and coming forward and just freely telling you how they truly feel regardless of what the end situation may be and what the past situation was okay but the present the present moment right here we have the two of cups okay it's right here and i look at these two and your person is in love with you okay they love you very much and i feel that you feel the exact same way and yet there's this rainbow that's that's over the, the two of you 
and it's been such a struggle for your person to come to terms with just allowing themselves to speak freely and tell them how you feel so that they can gain some peace to the situation. Um, you know, the past energies are showing me your person misses you. They're very lonely, okay? There's this emptiness inside of them because we have the five of pentacles here and both the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles that's earth energy that we're talking about uh, but it's the feelings it, right now it's the here and now it's it's what's going on in this material world and they feel very left out and they feel very alone your person misses you very much pile three and they've been struggling with this all right and we have the ace of swords here showing me you know clarity has been reached in the situation okay so they understand how it is that they truly feel for you all right their feelings when it comes to you is this ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles that's that's that feeling of having it all you know that's that feeling of having it all they would be happy with you emotionally um, when it comes to dealing with you mentally I feel you know there's a lot there's something here with the minds that you connect uh, your minds uh, are very connected with each other there's a spiritual connection going on here and there is this deep emotional connection but your person is failing to allow themselves to experience this because of the circumstances that surround them at this time that they feel are preventing them or holding them back from coming forward and telling you this and for the future it's the ace of wands there's that new beginning you know there's this potential that your person wants to take because this fire here is still burning this fire has not gone anywhere all right this fire continues to burn for you the passion is still here the feelings are still here, all right? What I'm feeling that your person is struggling with, all right, is uh, because behind this, we have the four, of swords, all right? And this is about retreating, it's about backing away, okay, because of healing. But, you know, these are two cards, this four, this is like this emperor power that they're, they're holding themselves back from. And yet, here is the empress. So, they know who you are. They know how they feel about you. I feel that this has completely transformed your person, okay? This has completely transformed your person. We have the death card here. They know exactly how, who you are to them. All right, they see you as their beautiful divine counterpart. They know you are the one. There's no question about that. And yet they hold this inside of them. Something has, uh, something has locked them in fear. You know, something is holding them back from coming forward and telling you this. which is causing them you know look to burn inside you know we're, we're starting over here we're in you, there's this fire and this fire is not you know i think the clarity that they need to reach is this is not going away nor will it ever all right and you can think with over time yes this this fire may burn out or die down and that's not what i feel here this will always be here and i feel that it's because they never expressed this they never gave themselves that opportunity or they didn't stand up to an opportunity where they should have expressed these feelings all right um, when you look at these two here in this picture, you see how he's looking at her and she knows that where I feel in the case with you, pile three, your person didn't allow themselves um, this opportunity. And now with the five of pentacles here, you know, the, the, there's a lot of uh, sadness. There's a lot of regret and they're coming to reach this clarity that they're 
they've only hurt themselves because no matter what the scenario is, no matter what the scenario is, and even if there's something that is holding the two of you back from being able to physically move forward in this 3D world right now, there still needs to be that vulnerability and that understanding between the two of you that I feel that your person did not give themselves the chance to experience and they're kicking themselves for it. We have here the bouquet, all right? Um, this is number nine, all right? This is showing me the hermit, so there's strong Virgo energy coming through here, but this is showing me how they are doing a lot of thinking all right, Virgos, they're in their head a lot. Um, they're doing a lot of thinking and they're doing a lot of soul searching and they're doing a lot of self-reflection. And, you know, this is what is helping them maneuver through this transformation that they're going through right now. But it, it's through this journey and this transformation that they're realizing how they truly feel for you all right with these beautiful roses here how they truly feel for you and at the same time down here we have the queen of spades and that is the queen of swords all right and when the queen of swords shows up in my reading whenever i see the queen of swords i immediately tell the reader or i'm sorry not the reader the viewers or even in my private this means this person has to have an honest communication with you. There needs to be honest communication here in order for there to be peace and harmony. You know, this person is never going to fall back into alignment in that positive alignment so they can move forward unless they have this conversation with you that they know that they need to have because the Ace of Swords is here. All right. So they know that they need to do this and yet uh, there's a, a, a deep sense of love and respect with seeing the Empress here in this, this beautiful card here that sits in the center of their reading. So their intentions are wanting to follow through finally with their heart because I feel that in this case, they did not follow their heart. All right, so whatever happened here in the past between the both of you, they did not follow their heart and they know that now. And it's it pains them and they are trying to work themselves to a point that they can do this all right so that they can get over here to this ace of wands because there's still passion here for you there's still desire there's still there's still a deep connection that has not left that's not going anywhere all right um that's not going anywhere at all and it's it, you know and that's going to move into the future but your person has to let this go so right now their intentions are working on releasing this control all right and coming out of this uh retreat and coming forward to this empress and having this communication that they know that they need to have because they know deep down inside with this ace of swords there's no other way around this okay so let me get you some messages from the hidden truth so for pile three spirit what is pile three's messages right now what are their hidden truths at this time I knew exactly what I was doing. And I feel like, you know, that's sitting over the past energy. So whatever happened here in the past, I feel that, you know, your person knew what they were doing. And, you know, I feel like for them, they feel that there was a very good reason why they didn't express their feelings in whatever situation that was you know they felt that they needed to do that for that reason but that doesn't change the fact of where the both of you are you know where you are right now i feel that that still hurt you pile three that you and your person knows that so you know 
even though they felt like they needed to do that for whatever reason to hold back here it, it didn't help any it didn't help the two of you uh further this or or make this right in any way as you move forward you know it it, it just kind of halted things and set the two of you in a very uh what what words am i looking for like a stagnant position you were the best thing in my life yeah with the two of cups the empress absolutely i wish things could be different you know and that's how they feel they wish things could be different but it's all about it's all about letting letting this guard down and just moving forward and you know doing what they know that they need to do all right on the bottom of the deck i know i was a distraction from your pain okay so you know i also get this feeling that this person um Hmm, like because of what you know I feel like because well, I'm getting the sense that I feel that you pile three expressed your feelings to this person all right that 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 you tried to express to them how you felt and I feel like after they sort of held back in you know not being able to return that you know they weren't able to come back and say out loud how they truly felt i feel that now there's this uh they don't know how you feel i guess is what i'm trying to say like they feel at this point they don't know if you still feel this deeply for them and i know from the cards here i feel that you do but they don't know that so because of that they're also suffering or they're really thinking about the possible rejection if they finally were to come forward now and try to make this right. I feel that they're struggling there. <clears throat> so can I get, what is the best advice right now for pile three in regards to this connection with their person? What, is, what, what do they need to hear most right now, Spirit? Pile three, please. What do they need to hear most? harmony you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything and i feel as i was saying with this ten of pentacle energy that's here pile three that even though perhaps you know this person never came forward and physically told you right now or when they should have how they truly feel for you that there is this harmony that there is this energy like in the 5d that you can really feel uh you can feel their energy right and i feel that that is what's hard for you yeah and look what we have here action because your person knows that they need to take action all right you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul and your person realizes this but what I was going to say is I think this is frustrating for you because I feel in the past there were opportunities and there could have very well been more than one where your person had the chance to come forward here and step up to the plate and they didn't. And yet with this harmony card, I feel that you still feel their energy. You still feel their presence, right? You still feel them. You they're around you whether they're physically in front of you or not their energy um is here and that's frustrating for you because you know in the 3d this person couldn't step up and do what they were supposed to do and yet you know i feel like you're struggling because you're like i know you're still you're here right i know i feel you i feel you every day i feel you at all different times so why you know there's this question for you why like why couldn't you just be honest in the times that you needed to be 
and that's very frustrating for you right which is understandable so i'm going to close out the reading i just want to see what your angels need you to know most right now so spirit what what do the angels want to tell pile three the most at this time when it comes to this connection please Ooh, well that one just flew out so obviously that's the one okay take time out for yourself so pile three this is just a reminder um to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And I feel that this is pointing directly towards why, because of what I just got done saying that, you know, I feel that you can feel this person's energy a lot and you know that they're there and that they're present and they're not finished here. You know, they're not finished with this connection and you can, you know, you can get sucked into that as well. But spirit wants you to know that you really need to stay on top of taking care of yourself while this person works on the physical 3d action you know they need to you know while well, they work on what they need to do to come forward here and now all right you need to just keep moving and take care of yourself all right and make sure that you are cleansing your energy because i do feel like this person is present here and that can be overwhelming for you at times all right so make sure that you take yourself into consideration and that you are cleansing your energy you are meditating and you are staying in that positive alignment because this overwhelming energy of knowing that your person is still present and yet they're physically not coming forward has to be very overwhelming and frustrating at times okay no doubt about it all right i'm going to leave the reading here pile three i hope it resonated with you and i'll see you again soon